Well, it is a big day here at KGW. Today is the final day of our school supply drive and donations from all across the area are pouring into our studios. Drew Carney is in the KGW lobby this noon for the parade of school supplies. Hey, Drew. Yes. Hey there, Brenda. It is truly one of the busiest days of the year here at our studios. You see volunteers all around me sorting through the school supplies that our viewers donated over the course of the last month. We asked our viewers for help. They came through once again this year. The goal was to help 15,000 students in the area go back to school this year with the supplies they need. We far exceeded that goal. At last count, we had enough supplies and cash to help out about 22,000 students in the area. So a big thanks to our viewers, a big thanks to our volunteers and our partners, Safeway, Pacific Power, Dick's Auto Group. There's the gang from Dick's right there. What's up, Dick's Auto Group? <laughs> And also our longtime partners with On Point Community Credit Union. I'm going to bring Tim Clevenger into the mix. He is their chief marketing officer. Uh, Tim, On Point has been with us from the get go. Yes, 16 sir, yeah. years supporting the KGW School Supply Drive. Why is this a drive that you want to get behind every year? Well, uh, On Point was founded by 16 school teachers in 1932, so we know the value of education. We also know what everybody's doing here is helping students get the supplies they need to get that education. So that's why we jumped on board with this. Are you surprised, maybe after all these years you're not, but I'll ask you anyway, are you yeah. surprised by the generosity of the community? I'm blown away every single year. You see the people show up at branches, dropping off supplies, dropping off money, participating, helping with all this. I'm blown away every single year when I see this. You were telling me earlier that your wife was a school teacher. So you know firsthand how oh, important yeah. it is to, to collect supplies for local schools and kids. Yep, that's one of the things we would do at the end of the summer break. We'd start going to uh, um, everywhere we could, getting supplies, because she knew there were going to be students that didn't have it. Right now, about half of Oregon students start school without the supplies they need. This is why this particular school, this drive is so important. It helps these students. You got your whole team from On Point here behind you. I'll let you get back to them. Right. We'll have more coming up on the KGW School Supply Drive. Brenda, a little bit later here during the news at noon. That is so exciting. A brand new number, 22,000 people. What generosity. Thank you so much. We want to check back on the parade of school supplies. Drew Carney is out in our lobby today. I stepped outside, Brenda. I can confirm it's raining. You all agree it's raining right now? Yes. But it's okay because we are celebrating the end of our KGW School Supply Drive. More supplies coming to our studios today. Go ahead, gang. Let's get those out and get them sorted so we can distribute them to local school districts. More on the parade of school supplies coming up in just a minute. Okay, before we go, we want to check in one more time with Drew. He's at the parade of school supplies. Organizing some uh, volunteers here. Let's roll in the supplies, gang. Here we go. More drop-offs today at our KGW studios. This is the final day of this year's KGW school supply drive where all of your donations collected from all across the area make their way here to our studio to be sorted and then redistributed to school districts around the region, both in Oregon and Southwest Washington. A big thanks to our volunteers today. Thank you, volunteers! A big thanks to our partners in the, in the KGW School Supply Drive and a big thanks to our viewers. At last count, 22,000 students benefiting from this year's KGW School Supply Drive. How about a big round of applause for that, gang? As we send it back to Brenda and Rob. All right, thank you, Drew.